Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing this tea. It's minty, it's a detox tea, it's a supplement, it's just overall fresh and cold because I forgot about it in the kitchen. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Admiral Funko and on today's video we are going to be reviewing the FYE exclusive William Wallace from Braveheart. We're going to take him out of the box and take a closer look at this epic character. And of course, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please have it in your heart to like and subscribe. Your likes, subscribes, and your comments give me fuel to make more videos. I need the fuel to make the videos. But I do pop reviews every single day. Sometimes I switch it up and do collectible reviews. Like maybe you guys might see this nice statue from Dark Horse. Let me know down in the comments below if you want to see other collectibles that I have. I mainly focus on pops. I mean, I am Admiral Funko for crying out loud, so we gotta do the pop game at the same time. But I figured I'd do William Wallace today. He is one of the pops that is in this room. If you watched my me putting pops into the Funko app, all those pops are in this room right now, and they're the ones that are gonna get the top priority to be reviewed because I need to go put them back in my bedroom and pluck more out. So you let me know if there's pops that you wanna see because trust me, I have a lot more to put in that app. So first up, there you go. There's a look at the outside of the box. FYE exclusive. I was lucky enough to find him at the store. I didn't really have to go searching for him too much. Great pop. His original variant, of course, is not bloody. But let's take him out and take a closer look. Now this pop was made in 2016. So around the time frame, I like to say, so I started collecting Funko Pops about 2014 time frame. They started making pops in 2010. So anything from 2010 to 2014 doesn't really have a good quality sculpt on it, but they're still good. They're good quality. It's just their sculpting game didn't really come up to par until the recent years. And their blood variants are always fantastic, I think. So here's an up close look at the pop. I love how this looks. I love how the blood splatter looks. I love how they painted his face. It's all there, all the details there, the kilt, the detail in his armor, in his sword, and his sword, as I've complained before in the past with like Rihanna Tarth, her sword was bent. His sword is actually very stable and straight. The iconic sword that he uses in the film. Also, his hair is sculpted perfectly. You could tell that his hair is braided. Very nice detail on the sculpt, no matter how and whichever direction you look at. This pop was actually very well done. I am so happy when Funko does great sculpts and paint jobs on pops. This one, of course, is easy to mess up. There's a lot of details. There's a lot of studs in his armor. There's a lot of just areas where blood splatter may or may not go. I don't know how they do their blood splatter. I don't know if they just flick some paint onto it and that's what we get or if it's just, you know, meticulous like no, you know, dot here, dot there. I'm, I'm not sure how they do blood splatter, but this is a great pop to add to the collection. Overall awesome pop. He has a trending value on the Funko app of $60. So there's only two variations of William Wallace in Funko Pop form. You have the bloody variant, and then of course you have the regular version. The regular version retails at $30. So if you really need William Wallace in your collection, I would definitely go for the normal version overall rather than the bloody version. Just because FYE, because FYE is so rare in most areas, you can't really find it. You can't find one in South Carolina. Not that I'm aware of, not in my area. So. Finding him on the shelf, I think because of his release date might be a little hard, but you might still be able to find him if you're lucky to have an FYE. But you probably could find a good deal on Macari or eBay for this guy. He is worth it if you are a fan of Braveheart like I am. I am so sad right now because April 16th, we were supposed to get Robert the Bruce, which was pretty much the sequel of Braveheart. And they brought the same actor back who played Robert the Bruce in Braveheart to play him, of course, in the new movie. It was supposed to come out on the 16th and it was gonna be a limited release in theaters, but of course all movie theaters are closed and it breaks my heart. I'm waiting for it to pop up on Amazon as an in-theater purchase or something like that because that is an epic I really wanted to see. I love epic movies. 
And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Comment down below what you think of this pop. Comment down below anything. I love talking to you guys. I love receiving comments, like, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I do this every single day and I'm trying to do it for as long as possible. Hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll have another adding pop to the Funko app after I review all the pops that are in here. It's epic because I got a four day weekend and I got a lot to do, a lot to do. And no, I cannot snap. I cannot snap at all. I can't. Okay, maybe just a little bit, but I can't, just I suck at it. But that is it for now. Stay classy, my friends, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye!